Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. We have reached what seems to be the finale. It felt like a finale to me. They're showing all the wedding pictures and stuff at the end. Um, I'm going to keep this as brief as I know how. This will not be a 20 minute video. Hell, this probably won't even be a freaking 15 minute video. I watched this last night. I pretty much can zoom through this without having to write any notes. So let's get started. River says, what are we doing? Chantel says, the only way I can move past this is to look in their eyes and see them face to face. Are you freaking kidding me, TLC? Are you kidding me that she has to fly to go all the way to the Dominican Republic and see them face to face to move forward? Girl, they can still F with you from the Dominican Republic when you come back home. This is so stupid, I swear. Chantel and River will be going to the Dominican Republic. River's going to go and make sure that she gets back home safely. Karen and I, I, Thomas, I always forget his name because he's barely talking. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, he hardly talks on this damn um, reality show. They're going to stay behind. They're not going. Karen says she's not going. She respects the spirit world and she has no desire to follow that evil spell or whatever the hell they were trying to do right back to them. Chantel says in order to get closure, she needs to see these people face to face for, for, for freaking what? For freaking what, Chantel? Y'all really, y'all really just wanted to cash in on this um reality TV thing because that is the only reason why I can see that you're flying all the way to freaking, you're flying all the way to the Caribbean to see some people you don't like face to face that sent you a freaking box of voodoo. Girl, anyway, this is stupid. Chantel and River reach the Dominican Republic and Chantel decides she's going to call Pedro on video chat and ask him what the hell was that about the voodoo box? And he's acting oblivious, like he has no idea what the hell was sent. And he says, why do you keep following me? Why do you keep stalking me? Basically, why are you following me from country to country? And Chantel, this is one thing out of this conversation that I got that I did not like. You know, I don't like when you're with somebody and they're so good to be with when you're with them. But the minute y'all not together no more, now is you would have been nothing without me. You would have been on the street eating a can of beans. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. I don't like that. Because he was good enough when he was married to you to be somebody and to be ambitious. But as soon as y'all not together no more, now he would have been nothing without you. I'm pretty sure Pedro, I, I don't love Pedro. Okay, I don't really care for him much. But it doesn't seem like he's lazy. It doesn't seem to me like he doesn't want to work. Okay. People can say he scammed her or whatever. Maybe he did. People do that all the time. I'm not saying it's right. But don't say that that man doesn't want to work because he actually came to the United States. He got a job. He's doing his realtor thing. Give the man a little bit of credit. Okay. You can dislike somebody and admit that they work hard. Okay. Chantel commands this man by the power of Grayskull. By the power. So Chantel says that she had to command the demon out of freaking Pedro and that's why she told him like that. But anyway, she was commanding him to meet with her at about two o'clock at some place with her, with him and his family so they can be, I guess, be done with this forever. I don't understand how you think that having a conversation with somebody is going to make everything just float away. They're never going to contact you again. They're never going to send you anything again, but they really could have got in trouble legally. I think, I don't know. Terroristic threats are very real. And if they, if that package would have came from another state inside of the U.S., they would have been in big trouble, I think. Pedro says that he didn't know about the voodoo box, but he's okay with it because that family deserves to be scared. You know what, Pedro? You're a piece of crap. You're a piece of turd. That's what you are, okay? Because he's, he, anyway, he claims that they deserve to be scared because that's how he has been feeling every single day because basically they're, I guess, out to get him, whatever. Pedro basically tells Chantel to leave him the F alone. Her and her family leave him the F alone. She's saying the same thing. Why can't you leave my family alone? And again, I really may, I really don't understand what sense it made for her to go all the way to the Dominican Republic. And listen, look at how fast I can say Dominican Republic now, as many weeks as we've been saying it now. That's freaking amazing. All right. If anyone cares, um, Nicole is, uh, she has a mask on her face for our safety apparently she looks like a tyrannosaurus rex under there and uh she's not even comfortable with it and that's why she's wearing a mask okay so pedro asked them about the box of voodoo and nicole cannot stop laughing like it's the funniest damn thing she ever heard in her damn life girl if you don't get a freaking life you and your mama and for her as an adult you're a grown ass woman of 56 i think she was you're too old to be acting like that that's why you know what there's really no age on maturity some people just never freaking grow up y'all i'm just telling y'all sorry to say some people just never grow up pedro actually wanted to see a picture 
picture of what they sent. Nicole said that she doesn't have a picture of it, but somebody, one of her friends sent her like a video or something that Chantel posted on social media of the stuff being set on fire. Nicole is over here saying, oh my God, um, now the voodoo is going to be even more powerful because she set it on fire. Now all of a sudden y'all are voodoo priestesses and y'all know all this about voodoo when last week was the first time y'all visited the voodoo guy and y'all didn't even know what to buy what they did none of that now all of a sudden you're an expert on how voodoo works nicole shut the hell up y'all say anything for this damn reality show so irritating and now nicole is over here calling chantel crazy are you sure about that because you and your crazy ass mama went to a voodoo guy to get voodoo trinkets to spend your own money on that you could have been spending on lashes your teeth um clothing food your cats. I don't know if you have pets. I don't know. Um, you can be. You could have been spending that money on anything, but you spent money to send your enemy something. That sounds insane to me. Okay, y'all the crazy ones, and she's crazy for flying over there to see y'all too. So y'all both wasting money, huh? Y'all just got money to burn. It seems like Pedro says that we have to. We, we, them, not me. Thank God I ain't got to be there. Pedro tells these two meddling bastards. Okay, that now they have to meet up with Chantel and them so this can be done for once and for all. Okay, whatever, y'all. Y'all forever connected. I hope y'all know, but anyway. Chantel's over here getting ready like she's getting ready for a date, okay? She, she's getting ready to meet Drake. I don't understand why she's getting so dressed up for these fools. I'll be looking like the bummiest of bums. I'ma have holes in all my clothes, okay? I'm I'm going in looking as raggedy as possible. I'm gonna make sure I have some body funk on me too, just for y'all, okay? I'm not trying to be ni look nice, but I kind of see her angle. She wants to look as good as possible, okay? So she can say, in your face, in your face to these people. Chantel's going out to go meet these fools and these fools are here at the house and Karen with her foolish ass it's, everybody's here a fool everybody here is a freaking fool so Karen's calling them talking partially in Spanish letting them know she knows about the curse and all this stuff and they're just taking it as a joke and they think it's humorous and Karen I don't know why you wasted your time but Karen says the reason why she called is because she's out there in Atlanta her daughter and her son is there and she just wanted to put her in their mind and that's why she called them. You know, nothing on this show today is making any logical sense to me. But um, and this is what I deal with when I said I was making a channel and I was going to be recapping shows. I knew there was going to be a lot of nonsense in there. I guess this is what I took on, didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I? Anyway. River and Chantel get to this dinner place or lunch place or whatever first and they're doing the absolute most and i'm a little confused because saging is not really christian but then y'all throwing christian ideals in there you're talking about holy water and the holy bible like y'all throwing a bunch of non-denominational stuff y'all throwing some catholic stuff in there y'all throwing some spiritualist stuff in there y'all don't really know what y'all want to do with these demons do y'all do y'all because <laughs> i'm just gonna pick one i'm pick. i'm gonna pick jesus okay i'm, I'm gonna pick jesus in the bible so i mean i guess y'all just was like you know what let's just take this potpourri of spirituality <laughs> So they're over here and they're, they're as you can see, they're saging this and they're holding the holy cross and, and the crucifix and child. Y'all are so confused. If demons were coming for y'all, demons would just get y'all because y'all not focused. They're here to do the meeting and Pedro and them, they're on the way. Pedro says that um, maybe I should be showing him in the scene, but I'm too lazy today. Okay, I'm really sorry. But Pedro is saying that the only way this is going to be resolved is seeing them face to face. They tried to get him deported and all this other freaking wicked stuff. And now it's time for it to end. And I want to tell them in their face, eye to eye. You know what? All y'all are corny. Y'all, I'm going to keep this short and brief because it was very annoying to have to watch this. Okay, Chantel and River are there. River doesn't say too much, but Chantel is basically throwing out the accusations that Pedro cheated which, by the way, Chantel, we've assessed in a couple episodes ago that that private investigator did not have proof that he did that. That was just his assumption. I don't know if you remember that. I was I was actually recapping that show. I was reading the closed caption. There was no actual proof. He just was assuming that that's what happened. So Chantel is coming at Pedro with stuff that she has no proof of, saying that he slept with his boss, saying that he slept with Karima. Well, 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 you know what? They did say he was a virgin and they said that more than one time. So I think that might be true. And to be quite honest with you guys, I wanted to not believe Pedro. I wanted to disbelieve him, but it did, it did seem like he was telling the truth about not cheating on her and about loving her. And you know, I'm really sorry if you guys, you don't have to agree with everything I say on my recaps. You guys can gladly disagree. I'm not gonna agree with everything y'all think and it's okay. We can still be friends. We don't have to agree to be friends, okay? But I really, in that part right there, I'm not saying he was honest about everything, but the part where he said he loved her, 
I think he had a little love for her. A little bit of love. Now, I'm not going to say he loved her to the end of the earth, okay? They pretty much kept going back and forth in this scene. And I I really just wanted to shut the TV off. But then I remembered that I had to do a recap and I had to keep it on, unfortunately. Pedro is... At one point, Pedro really got serious. And he was like, Chantel, can you listen to me? Chantel didn't want to hear nothing he had to say. He, she didn't actually, she didn't want to hear anything anyone had to say. So you mean to tell me you spent your hard earned money from nursing to fly all the way to the Dominican Republic and you weren't willing to have a cohesive conversation. You just wanted to hear yourself talk. Girl, you could have sent that money to me. It's Christmas time. You could have sent that money to me, child. After telling Pedro he was an awful husband and all of the constant back and forth that they were both saying to each other, Chantel gets into this emotional thing where she starts crying in front of these people. Girl, you came here looking like mother freaking Billie Holiday or whoever the hell you're trying to look like. I don't know. You literally gonna let them see you sweat. River came up to her and was like, okay, why are we standing here? I mean, if you, you over it, let's go. And then they left. And that is all. That is all that happened in this freaking episode, okay? I'm not done. But yeah, that's pretty much all that happened today. So everybody's going home. Pedro says what hurts the most is that he really did love Chantel. And she just didn't believe nothing that he had to say. And you know what? After all is said and done, Pedro actually wishes her well. I don't know how authentic it was. It sounded authentic to me. I look, I'm not a fool, okay? I cannot easily be bamboozled. Chantel proclaims victory in her own mind. For the love of God, I'm begging you. And I'm talking to God. I'm not talking to spirits. I'm not talking to the universe. I'm talking to God here. Please, I know this is trivial, but can we not have any more seasons of the family Chantel? I pray you. I pray you. Please, I beg. And that really was the end of this mother freaking episode. Thank God I'm over it. And... Yeah, we're going to move on to the next reality show, which I don't know. We got to catch up to our matter for a sight, okay? All right, guys, I am done with this episode. If you missed anything, I am really sorry to tell you, okay? This is the recap. This is the recap. Anyway, guys, I have a lot of catching up to do with Married at First Sight. I am literally behind, still behind a few episodes. I could have got caught up yesterday, but I wasn't feeling too well. I'm really sorry. But I will be caught up at very least by the weekend. You have four or five new episodes, I believe, that I'm going to catch up on. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about Onion and his freaking flip-flopping mother freaking ways i am so sick of his freaking ass okay anyway guys thank you so much for watching my channel make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye